Hey, what's up, guys? Your boy Leroy Kankins here, coming at you with some more Lost Ark guide gameplay here. Um, going to really quick rundown what is the easiest way to get gold, um, in my personal opinion. Now, of course, uh, there's there's tons of ways to get gold in this game, from this dungeon to four, all that good stuff. But if you're just running in, doing your dailies, getting it done, and then you know you don't have enough time to do whatever, um, when you do your stuff like Chaos Dungeons or even Abyss Dungeons, you will get drops, right? These drops you can dismantle for uh, a small amount of materials, or what you can do is you can put it on the auction house over here. Now, if you open up the market, which is Alt-Y by default, uh, or you go to Community tab, go to Market, up here, this market, you can add items, and this add items is mainly generalized items, not necessarily equipment. And this auction house here is more of gear, ability stones, accessories, and gems, which I will have a thing about later as well. So... Today we're going to be talking about the the easiest way to do it, um, and the easiest way to do it if you you know just go to the auction house, go to register, all this stuff will be here. Um, go like you just get some drops from your chaos dungeon, right? You can just put them in here. Go to market value. It will come up with any other listing that is similar, um, or or uh, I say similar with with your like direct engravings and stat priority on the item. If you don't know what I mean, go to this advanced search tab, and then you will have this right here. Um, if nothing comes up, what you can do is you go to the quality, make it go to zero for all qualities here. And then down here where it says combat stats, you can put all. I would leave the engravings effects about the same because engravings are what a lot of people look for when they're looking for specific items. And then you go to search. So for this, we only have one, and it's starting bid one, sell price five. If nothing comes up, what I would do is I would just register the item, starting bid one, and then buy now price two. Um, now you might be like, oh, I'm only gonna make two gold on like an item. Now a lot of items can drop in Chaos Dungeons. I am getting all of these gold information, all these gold uh, confirmations all the time. Getting two gold here, two gold here, two gold here. Now, just just like within the past day, I've gotten like a hundred gold just on this character, just chilling. Now, yeah, you can dismantle them for a very small amount of gold. Or, or, uh, or, or materials, or you can put it on the ox house to get stuff with gold later. Um, now, since this is like an easy gold guide, I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna tell you an easy trap to stay away from. A lot of people do this dumb mistake, and like, unless you're whaling or something, you have money to blow and you're buying gold, whatever, it's all up to you. But if you're actually like, you know, free to play player, you're like looking for a smart decision on, on like what to pay your gold on. Um, don't don't go in here and be like, oh, I need some I need some leap stones. Let me go buy some leap stones for uh, uh how do we do that? Um, for 122 a pop. That's bad. Stop. Go go do your dailies or something if you really want leap stones. If you're one away, even it's not worth. <laughs> okay, go go like convert your gold into like blue crystals or something and buy it off the Mari shop. Stop stop doing it here. This stuff is way too overpriced. Quit. Um. If you want to spend your gold on anything, maybe crafting materials is the way to go because, um, you know, the, the, the crafting bar uh, or the, the, the gathering bar down here, you know, it's uh, not always full and it takes about 50 hours or so for it to fill up entirely. Um, and if you want something else to do for gold or, or like, like with your gold, um, like engraving books for your alts, uh, like fantastic way if, you, if you're not getting them innately. That way you can just kind of, you know, Increase your alt power very easily without, you know, having to grind too much or uh, prey on R and Jesus. So yeah, that's very quick, like easy. How how do I make gold guy without going like in depth? Like oh, do these like rapport things and like do this whatever. Um, just just keep it simple. You know, you 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 get gear drops from your dailies. And you're like oh, I'm not going to use this piece. That's fine. Um, you can dismount them like I said for a small amount of um, mats. Or you can just put them up, put them up on the auction house for a small amount of gold. It's up to you, and what you do with that gold kind of depends on how worth that is, and what you do with the materials also is, is how worth it is. The, the, the materials are, you know, like like pretty hit or miss too, um, like what you can get because you're not guaranteed anything, but you are guaranteed gold if you put it on, on, on the uh, on the auction house. Uh, it's very rare that I have stuff that's like sells. Like I go to sell history here, like or what I currently have like registered, all the stuff for sale in a day, and I have stuff for, like 100, 20, stuff like that. Um, and, and that's just 
like old class stuff that I used or um, stuff that I know will sell. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this kind of content, please like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. If you guys want to see something specific, let me know in the comments below. Till next time, guys. Take it easy.